it's your boy here to give you guys a review for Little Women Atlanta Season 4, Episode 1, titled Rumor Has It. Excuse the hair. Honestly, I swear I thought the damn barbershop was open today. It's not open today, so yeah. Just looking a little bit rough and I can but that's all right. We, we, we family here. We family here. But as like I said, I don't always come on here looking great in the motherfucking way, so it's all good. All right, now since this is uh <clears throat> the very first episode of the new season well, it's a whole lot of catch up in some places so i'm really i'm probably gonna breeze through a lot of this that's okay that's okay you know it is what the fuck it is <clears throat> so tanya the twins many no 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 lies lies everybody but tanya and the twins are at the water park they're mostly just talking about how hey it is what it is you know her tying you with the pregnancy and whatnot uh you then got juicy and moni talking about the wedding and you know how one of uh moa's friends has said if you knew what i knew about him you wouldn't be marrying him that came up and you know <clears throat> you see it's just that it's pr it's pretty much just that question of you know, Juicy asking her, like, do you think anything was meant by it? You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> and she says, she being Moni says, okay, I'm going to talk to him about it. Chris and uh, Andrea, they together. They didn't move back to Atlanta after a little couple's retreat that they didn't have. Many pops up, unbeknownst to them. And, <clears throat> and one thing that I found to be so funny is Aubrey did not want shit to do with fucking mini ass. I'm I'm just saying y'all know babies know shit. Baby babies can read auras and shit. I would want to fuck with mini ass either. So <laughs> it is what the fuck it is. <clears throat> now Chris has already said that he does not want Amanda in their business. Okay. And they have a double thing coming up. Now what I'ma say is I understand but Chris on some fuck shit. I do understand because he is in a relationship with her, not the sister, but at the same exact time, to a degree, you are in a relationship with the sisters, especially given the fact that they happen to be twins. But the fact that they're, he's forcing her to create space because it's almost like he's trying to, I'm trying to figure out like, He's trying to segregate her from her sister. I just, I just feel a ways about it. I feel, I feel a ways about it. And from the previews on what the season is going to be like, we know that uh, Jordan is going to propose to Amanda again. I get these damn twins mixed up. I, I normally just call her as Tiger slash Paul Grant, but um, and then it seems, seems as if. Chris is going to do the same exact thing because mom was just like, I don't know if I should be happy for you or not. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm, 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 jump, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So Tanya, y'all don't know. I call her ass the sage lady. And if y'all recall from last season, pretty sure it was most of last season. I don't see it for. I am that motherfucker where I don't do clean slates with these damn realities. So I'll do clean. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's back with Bond. She says Nico has been coming. Nico's been coming around. And I'll wait till Nico comes in to talk more. But I remember I was watching Say Sean Bradley. And he had talked about a YouTube reality show called Chasing Atlanta. Happened to watch it. It's pretty cool. Had his hiccups, but I mean, it's what the fuck it is. I got hiccups here, so I ain't, I ain't judging the shit. But Nico showed up on the show as an artist, but I guess he was also an executive producer. So that makes that makes me raise an eyebrow where it's just like, okay, so why like not why is he coming back around? Because he should be there to see his child, but it's one of those where I'm kinda side eyeing her now because at first with him being a struggling musician, that was one thing and she was like, mm, but I think now that he done came up a little bit. Y'all get where I'm going with this. Again, I'll be side out the fuck out the sage later. But she won't see a home birth and um she has been uh put she's her um I forget what the fuck you call, but the lady that's gonna be coaching her through the birth pretty much said that she pretty much needs to be on bed rest. Amanda feels some kind of way because 
she hasn't been to see Andrea because she met with Minnie. And Minnie was like, well, I just showed up. So she feels that Minnie is lying, which, I mean, we've known Minnie to lie. So, I mean, shit. I mean, I don't feel like Minnie shouldn't feel a kind of way, especially when the reunion come with her question. Because, I mean, you've been lying this whole entire time. Let's see what we had to do. Jump. So Minnie and Moreland, they do um, pottery shaping. And she hopes that this will open up the line of communication between the two. So she asked him about the comment that his friend, or I should say former friend, had made. And all she really wants to know if is there if there's anything that she needs to be worried about. Now, this man is stumbling, rambling, this, that, third. Like, he has a real fucked up poker face. And, you know, it's like she questions it, but it's like, mm, okay, I, I guess I'm going to let it go. But she pretty much told him, if I find out some shit that happened, we're going to have an SNS where your ass going to be single and I'm going to snap. And he was like, well, I'm going to snap too because I don't like threats. So I'm just like, okay, all, all right. You being extra. You being extra. It is what the fuck it is. So. So. We see Amanda with Jordan. Long story short, she pretty much saying, I want to know why I see my sister. Moving forward. We got Andrea, Juicy, and Sam. So Juicy and Sam are going shopping for the Sage Ladies Baby Shower. So they bring along Andrea since they ain't seen her since she who fat. And they're and like I said, now the part is going to be a backyard baby shower, seeing as a how the Sage Lady has been bedridden for the most part. Now Juicy talks to them about Robert. Pretty much saying that she called Robert to get the tea. Now, if y'all haven't noticed, Juicy really don't be having a storyline. She really doesn't. We're going to get a glimpse of her somewhat having one, but she's not really. Juicy is the bone carrier, the shit starter, the shit stirrer. Because you ain't got a fucking storyline, so what will possess you to call her? I got to be in a good, you know, girlfriend, you know, friend, all the shit. But why not just tell her, I think you should call him? Because that shit was messy as fuck. Ain't no other way to fucking paint this. And then she's going to bring, fuck, I can't think of that girl name. And it was on the tip of my tongue, I didn't write it down. But she's going to bring the uh, one chick that the uh, twins got into on a reunion, going to bring her back to manage her. But that right there is going to sit here and stir up some more fucking bullshit. So, again, what is her storyline? Like I said, I mean, I, it's, it's one of which is like, I wonder if the girls have seen it. I see it. Do y'all see it? Because I didn't see it. Okay. What else we got? So, she pretty much tell them that old boy told her that Moreland been cheating on many while he has been on the road. So, he'll be on the road, you know, sitting here, you know, landing low spread. Why? So the twins go on a dancing double day, and of course, uh, um, Amanda asks, you know, why Minnie was at your place and I wasn't invited. You know, Andrea, you know, you know, fucks up and it's like she showed up. Da da da. It is what the fuck it is. We really ain't got nowhere with the shit, but she's just gonna give her her space, and you know, hopefully things get better. Like I said, it ain't ain't shit really happening. I'm trying to stretch this out. We had like eight minutes and what, like what, thirty seconds trying to push this out so the baby shower happens sam was trying to keep the sage lady distracted while everybody else sets up everybody sets up she comes out oh she's surprised i don't really think she's i don't really think she was surprised or whatever and juicy pulls moni to the side while the uh baby shower is going on Pull, pulls her to the side let's feel some tea why I got it. You the shit story. You the bone carrier. You, you the shit starter. That was definitely not the time nor the place because now, even though I don't like the sage lady, the attention went from her and now it's on this. And of course, and then she go to <laughs> then Juicy had the audacity to tell Moni, y'all married. So y'all so y'all married now. So you need to keep between y'all. Juicy knew what the fuck she was doing. She went and so Moni goes, confronts him. She loud and he asked the question that I really felt she should have asked Juicy. Why the fuck is Juicy calling him? Now, that's a legit question, but of course, Moe, you're not trying to hear. You know, he's stumbling, backpedaling, puss popping, and he was like, okay, well, what he said what he's referring to happened before we got married. Why he say that? Why the fuck he say that? And of course, a little turn up happens, and he's like, you know, I'm just finna fucking leave, and it's a to be continued.
that's the gist of what happened. So that's all I got for, you know, the season premiere. That's it. I'm trying to get, because what I got, one, two, three, I got like five more videos to do. But like I said, y'all can see that a different setup because I didn't got my, I got my stuff in, but my room is a complete another fucking mess. I barely got my studio somewhat set up, but yeah, so I'm trying to get y'all the rest of these videos. And of course, y'all get the households in the morning. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.